hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country ondo guba pdp rejects inex chief returning officer alleges compromise yes my people it's two days to the ondo state governorship election october 10th is the day slated for this um, election and um, the major political parties are wrapping up um, with their campaigning activities and doing all they can to ensure that um, they come out victorious come October 10th. But right now, guys, we know with, uh, with how things went down uh, regarding the Edo State governorship election, uh, these political parties should know right now that uh, uh, <laughs> we're in a different era, era of democracy, where the votes of the people count and where um, the people are the ones who are meant to choose their leaders but um in spite of that guys um allegations are still flying here and there pdp is still accusing apc of plotting violence apc are on the other hand accusing pdp of the ones um, plotting violence and also planning to rig as well pdp right now they've rejected inex chief returning officer and they are alleging that um, there's a little bit of a compromise that they are not going to accept that you know, INEC, INEC was commended regarding uh, the Edo State governorship election that they actually did well. They were non-partisan, they were neutral, and um, they did not uh, um, support any party. They, it was, it was the, one of the best elections that INEC has ever conducted where the vote of the people counted, and INEC uh, uh, did actually um, um, carry out a free, fair, and credible election. But this time, for some reason, PDP don't still trust INEC. As a result of that, they rejected um, the returning officer. Anyway, guys, we'll bring you more details um, about all that PDP has got um, to say regarding this uh, um, INEC chief returning officer. We'll bring you details shortly. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, um, do give this video a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to share and subscribe um, to our channel as well. We really appreciate you. God bless you guys. Yes, and we'll get down into the news now and grab all of the details. Ahead of the Saturday's governorship election in Ondo State, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has cried out over a large attempt to compromise the outcome of the pool. The chairman of the PDP Ondo State Gubernatorial National Campaign Council, Shei Makinde, who is also the governor of Oyo State, raised the alarm on Thursday in Akure, the state capital. According to Mekinde, while addressing journalists over the development, expressed doubt over the neutrality of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to conduct the pool. Mekinde emphasized that the appointment of Professor Eyitokbe Ogunberu, Ogun Bodede, the vice chancellor of Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, as the chief returning officer of the Ondo State Governorship election, runs contrary to the rules of the electoral process. He alleged that Professor Ogun Bodede has an affiliation with Governor Oluwaro Timi Akere Dolo and that he is from the same town of Owo with the governor. It has come to our notice that the people of Ondo State will not be getting free and fair election if the Independent and Nas National Electoral Commission, INEC, as presently composed, will be overseeing the election. We are speaking in particular about the appointment of Professor Eyitokbe Ogunberu Ogunbo Dede, the Vice Chancellor of Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, as the Chief Returning Officer of the Ondo State Governorship election. The PDP totally rejects Professor Eyitokbe Ogunberu Ogunbodede acting as chief returning officer. He's a known crony of Rotimi Akere Dolo, candidate of the All Progressive Congress, and hails from Owo, the same hometown as the candidate. He cannot be a fair party in the proceedings by virtue of their association. We also want to state that Professor A.S. Bamire, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, academic of the Above Femi Awolowo University, Leife, who conducted the training of returning officers, is not a neutral party for the purpose of this election. We therefore call on INEC to stay true to their name and replace Professor Oyitekwe Ogunberu 
Ogun Bode De with a disinterested party. The chief returning officer should have no affiliation with any of the participating parties in the election. We also take this opportunity to call on all of us of democracy around the world to pay attention to what the APC-led administration in the center is trying to do in all those states. We call on the United Nations, the European nations, the United States, and the United Kingdom, and indeed, all allies of democracy to call INEC to order. Wow, yes, my people, um, PDP, they are not taking it lightly. We know um, also regarding a those state um, governorship election, uh, uh, um, PDP just won the state. That was how they went as well. They didn't keep silent. They kept raising alarm here and there that um, APC is trying to uh, um, work with INEC in order to rig the election and all of that. Not until the point where international community became interested and stated that they are monitoring all of the events, everything happening, and they are going to place visa ban on anyone that uh, rigs the election or anyone that tries um, to um, hinder um, the vote of the people um, from counting. Also, we know very well that at that point, the international community, that is um, United States, United Kingdom, even the European Union, they stated that they are monitoring the elections as well as the Ondo state one that is due to hold. Yes, so I don't think they've taken their eyes off uh, on those states. But PDP is still making a call that um, INEC should be called to order to replace um, the returning officer because so far they've um, stated and highlighted that this returning officer who is the, the vice chancellor of Obafemi Awolowo University has got a direct relationship with the incumbent governor, Rotimi Akeredolo. And for that reason, they don't believe that he's going to be neutral, that he's definitely going to take sides, he's definitely going to tilt, that they should replace him with someone that does not have any connection, someone that um, um, does not have any link with all of the parties. I mean, that is quite is something good. They are not stating that um, INEC should appoint one of theirs. INEC should just put someone who does not have any link or any connection with both parties as um, they believe that um, all of this process is going to be compromised, that they will not get a fair, a free and fair election come October 10th. Guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. If INEC is going to be trusted this time around, drop us your take and we really want to hear from you. Thank you once again, guys. And please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to share and subscribe as well. We really appreciate you. Till I come your way again, bye for now and God bless.